Hello, welcome to the course. Uh, so we're going to just get started with the first unit of study. So what is unit number one? We're going to be studying kinematics. Well, kinematics is a very, very old subject. That's how physics first began. So people started to think about moving objects. So kinematics is going to be actually the study of motion. So we're going to say the study of motion. How do you know something is in motion? Now this question may be so easy to you, but it's not so easy if we think about it a little bit deeper. So let me give you an example here. Let's take this book. To you, this book will be stationary. But then, if we try to think of this in another larger picture, we're inside of the Earth. Well, the Earth happens to be doing what? It's constantly rotating around its axis and then orbiting around the Sun. So, even if we just look at this perceived stationary object, if we look at it from a different point of view, then you're going to start to think about, oh, it's actually moving. Think about it another way. So now as I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, I'm going to start to walk. Now, as I'm walking, I think all of you are moving, but only I'm stationary. But from your point of view, it could be, no sir, you're the one that's moving. We're all stationary. So in physics, it's really hard to determine just what is in motion, how do you even know something is moving, because technically, everything is moving relative something else. I like to think about it as everything is in motion. Now, in order to study that, we need to try to pick, well, we're going to force something to be stationary. At least for now, let's keep it a little bit simpler. So we want to force something that is stationary. We want to force something that is stationary. Now, what we're going to choose in this course, we're going to try to choose that this classroom is going to be what's stationary. So we're going to take it for granted that this classroom is stationary. Now, why do we do that? We have to pick one location where there could be multiple people studying science. So we want to force something that is stationary, not just something, but a location. And we're going to define this location to be a frame of reference a frame of reference. So that's going to be our first term here in this course. So just what is the frame of reference then? It's going to be a place where we assume it is stationary. Now, as we move in this course, we're going to try to expand on this definition. So that's not the full definition, but that's an introductory course uh, that will suffice for now. So it's a frame of reference, it will be a place where we assume it's stationary. What are we going to take in this case? We're going to assume this classroom is stationary. Now, why would we choose a classroom? Well, a classroom is even a more special place because it's filled with special people, like yourself, the viewers. So what makes the classroom special that it has viewers? Not only that, but you as a viewer are going to be conducting science. So whatever measurements we make in this classroom, that's going to be our reality. So we're all going to agree. So if you all agree on something, that makes everyone inside of our classroom a special scientist. Sorry. A special scientist. Now, why are we calling ourselves scientists? Because we're going to be studying the universe. So, in this unit, we're just going to be studying motion, but we want to expand it out and look at other things beyond. So, special scientists. So, why is it so special? Because we are studying the universe. And from our frame of reference, all of us are going to agree on the same results. So, we're going to come to a later problem where one frame of reference and another frame of reference, they could have a dispute because they perceive their reality very differently. So that's what's really important for now. 
So we're studying the universe.